Summer is here, but forget the fireflies. Try a lightning bug of a different color. This footage was sent to us from sci-fi listener Chris Lavin. I was coming back from my neighbor's house where I had dinner. Chris's flashlight was burned out and only the ultraviolet setting worked. And I see a bug, which I thought maybe had dropped down from the Japanese radiation in the sky somehow. I ran to my house. Grabbed a camera and told her teenage sons. They went back the next night. In about five minutes, there's so many of them out there. They're 13, so more is better. And their footage shows how these millipedes change color under ultraviolet light. And I would just love to know why they do that. We needed an expert. Hello. Hi. Paul Merrick is an entomologist at the University of Arizona. And I study glowing millipedes. Paul watched Chris's video, and we asked him, what's going on with these millipedes? They're fluorescing. So the cuticle of the millipedes receives that UV light. That light is actually re-emitted as a different color. So do all millipedes do this? All millipedes in this family Zistodesmidae do this. So that's who and how. But for Chris's original question? Why they do that? That's a good question. So it's actually a mystery why they are fluorescent. Merrick says it may just happen because of nitrogenous elements found in the millipede's cuticle, just like other things that happen to fluoresce. Some rocks are fluorescent. Uh, urine is fluorescent, actually. Gin and tonics are fluorescent. Merrick says the millipedes in Chris's yard may be like the gin and tonic. They happen to fluoresce because of what they're made of, but not for any biological reason. Their cousins, however, the millipedes Merrick is trying to get a handle on, seem to be more intentional about their glow. These millipedes actually produce their own light by way of a chemical reaction in their body. They bioluminesce, they produce light spontaneously. And Chris's question, why they do that, is something Merrick looked into last year. Usually you find millipedes in dense forests and leaf litter, but these millipedes, which are only found in certain mountain ranges in California, live in these open mountain meadows and these areas with a high exposure. Merrick's theory was that they glow to protect themselves, but to test that, he needed to see if these glowing millipedes got attacked less than millipedes that looked exactly the same but didn't glow. So where do you find non-glowing millipede replicas? We made 300 clay millipedes out of Sculpey modeling clay. And that's not all. I had a bronze cast that my metalsmith wife made. <laughs> and of these fake ones, half had luminescent paint and half didn't. And we also did the same thing with live millipedes, but we concealed their bioluminescence with paint. And all get put out randomly on a transect, but the real ones are wearing leashes. And so we, we importantly did that so they wouldn't walk out of the experiment. And then they left them out for the night. What we saw the next morning was, was amazing. Carnage. At least for the millipedes that didn't glow. On these bioluminescent ones, on these luminescent ones, there are fewer attack marks relative to the non-luminescent ones. Which was convincing evidence, Merrick says, that the bioluminescence does... Deter predators from eating it. You know, I don't think of millipedes as particularly flashy, but they have these visual displays that seem really sophisticated. Yes, and what's interesting is that these millipedes, they have no eyes, so they can't see their colors. Creatures that will never know their own beauty. But you can appreciate them, maybe from your own backyard. Thanks to Chris Lavin for shining some light on this phenomenon. Happy hunting. For Science Friday, I'm Flora Lichtman.